oh, out of curiosity, uh, some of my um, life might be a bit vivid. You're not, uh, or elusive, or um, on the other side, the, what y'all would consider evil spectrum. Okay. Would you would you consider would y'all would you be judgmental towards me? Not at all. My uncle, before we even get started, my uncle pressed charges against me for indecency with a minor for, uh, against his daughter, and I wound up getting it dropped to assault because he was uh, manipulative and was using was was uh, trying to get five thousand dollars for my grandmother, and he used me. In a, uh, as a way to get to my grandmother because I was living with my grandmother. And he, um, since he didn't get the $5,000, he had me locked away in prison for no reason. How old were you? Huh? How old were you when this happened? 23. How old was she? Oh, how old was I? How old was oh, she? oh, no, how old was I? I was 16 and, and it didn't happen. How old was the girl? Uh, she was about seven or eight. Hmm. Well, here, let's just, let's just, Start from the beginning. Do you want me to just use the assault part instead no, just, of uh, the other part? No, you can you can mention it all. Okay, I'm not being judged, am I? Not at all. Okay, I don't, I don't do that. What uh, what is your name? My name is Ernest. Ernest, uh, uh, where'd Ernest. you grow up? Where, where are you from? I was born in Texas. I lived in I lived there for about thirty years. I lived in Mississippi for about three months, but I came from Louisiana. I lived in Louisiana for pretty close to six and a half years. I moved from Monroe, Louisiana. Okay, and tell me about your childhood. You had mom and dad? Mom and, well, I was actually adopted. I, I'm, actual, I'm actually the son, one of the sons of um, Kurt Cobain and uh, Courtney Love. I'm Alex from Full House. My brother's Nicky. He actually plays Barry on uh, The Flash. My twin brother, okay. my sabotage. How would you uh, describe your childhood? With the family that raised me, pretty good. I mean, I didn't understand him very, my stepdad very much. My stepdad was a little bit different than I, I had, ex I would expect, but he had a loving heart. He, whatever we wanted, whatever I wanted, he got me to the best of his ability now. I mean, he wasn't the best dad in the world, but it doesn't mean he was the worst. He, um, everybody make, let's just say everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does wrong, but at the same time, everybody should deserve a chance to be forgiven and move on. And, I, and if he's watching right now, Richard Phillips, for all the stuff you've done to me, which don't, doesn't need to be mentioned, you're forgiven. It's even forgotten. I want to be a family again. I miss you. That's nice. You make it through high school? Yeah, I'm, I graduated. Did you do any uh, time in, in jail? Uh, I did. Or prison? I did seven years in prison. I did 110 days in, well, a few times in jail. The longest I did in jail by itself was 110 days, but I've done it. I've been in jail a few times. Seven years was for what? Um, assault, um, burglary. Where the assault it was actually a case that I had to fight because an, because of a person that the family knew. No need to mention names was money hungry and took advantage of the opportunity and didn't get the money that he was wanting. So he took advantage of it and placed me in jail for something I didn't commit. Oh, that's what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I see. And then after you were done with school, what'd you do? Um, well, <clears throat> I started a, a, a job. I went out, got a job, tried to, was about to get my own apartment, then I wound up in I wound up in jail, wound up losing everything, and now I'm homeless. You've been homeless for how long? Over a year. Well, 
off and on for the past seven, eight, nine years. In different states? Since different I've been states? out of jail, in out of prison. In different states? Uh, mostly in the state of Louisiana, but also in California because I've been here since August. I was just trying to, I came here to California just to try to find a way to get my, uh, to inspire my family to love me again. It's hard being without my family. I miss them. I make a lot of fuck ups, but I miss them. I mean, bros, I'm sorry. If whatever I said to you, I'm sorry. If I, I, if I could take it back, I would, but I can't take back what I said. I can only just go forward. I would, I could never kill my family, let alone anybody else. I can't even kill a pigeon that had a broken wing. I, all I did was nurse it back to health. I hate murder, I hate death. I love my family, I want my family back. What happened with your family? That, that they you're... disowned me. Because of what I said. I threatened to kill them. I threatened to burn them alive in their trailer while they were asleep. I was just had so much pressure on me and it leaked out the wrong way. And I said that. And after I got off the phone, I just bawled like a baby. I was like, oh my goodness, why did I say that? So I came here to fight tooth and nail to make sure that I can inspire my family to love me again. Are drugs a part of your life, Ernest? Yes, methamphetamine, crack, alcohol, cigarettes, marijuana. How long have you been using drugs like uh, that? Since I've been here. I, I've used before, but on a regular basis since I've been here since August. I, I've even gotten to where I shoot up now. I'm not addicted to it, but it, it only settles the, the pain. It only it only blankets the pain. I don't do it to because I'm addicted to it. I do it just to make just to feel a bit of relief. Because nobody here has been able to find a way to get me help because I'm from a different state. This is the California Republic. Y'all are y'all's own state and country. It's like America split into two different countries. And I can't, I, I, I can't win for losing. I try to get up on my feet and I fall down or people tell me to go to such and such and such and such and such and such location to get help. I do and they turn me down. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. I'm not going to get a different result. So where do you stay at night when you're... Wherever I'm, where, wherever I can lay my head, which it gets pretty damn cold at night sometimes. Sometimes I have sleep and freezing my, freezing every bit of me off. Some, that's why I deal with sinuses all the time. I deal with diarrhea. I deal with sick, with uh, ailments, but not illnesses. How, how do you uh, make money? Prostitution. And that'll that'll keep you fed and get your drugs. No, you it's not so much as fed. It's just it's just so I can. Whenever I do the stuff like that, it just it, it it makes me feel. It does. It's not the fact of prostitution. It's the fact that being around someone that shows compassion, any type of any type of uh, compassion. That's why, because I'm, I'm looking to be loved. I haven't been loved in a long time. In fact, I've been pretty well hated. Do you feel like you have any friends? I don't know. I'm hoping, so. I'm hoping I might, but if I do, it would be a surprise because if I had any friends, If, if if those that claim to be my friends, there's so many people that claim to be friends that are that, that just use you and just throw you to the side. I honestly, I I don't know of anybody that I could say is my true friend unless unless one day so they pop up and say I'm 
I'm actually your friend and well, it would it would surprise me. It really would. I'm not saying that it's impossible, it's just it'll surprise me. Cause I feel even though I'm around everybody, I feel utterly alone. Like nobody understands me, nobody gets me. There's one thing I do have to mention that the world needs to know. What's that? Uh, before I do, uh, this is going to be a little bit on the kooky side, okay? A little bit of the, you know, the little nonchalant, my, some people might think I'm crazy type. The family of... Um, Kurt Cobain, Courtney Love, their two sons, isn't of Earth. I'm a, we are extraterrestrials. I'm Go Ten Son Goku. I'm an alien. You're an alien. Yeah. Where from? Uh, Planet Tuffle. Well, not Tuffle. Y'all are Tuffle. I'm Planet Vegeta. There's three planets. Two of which are, y'all are in a trinary system. Y'all have three sons. One son to the uh, home of the Anunnaki, the Nibiru, uh, Planet Vegeta, home of the Saiyans, uh, the, uh, war, the warrior race, uh, and Planet Tuffle, the home of the planet, plants, planet Earth. There's been a big whoop to do about um, whether extraterrestrials exist or not. This is what even Trump has been waiting on, been been setting up for, been waiting for the day of unveiling. Extraterrestrials are real, and we are not alone. The Earth is not the center of the universe. Does the Earth look like? Does the if the Earth is the heart? Of God, does the earth does this where the heart is located at in the chest? Does it look like it's a part? Uh, does it look like the center of the universe? No, the center would be more right around here. If anything, um, extraterrestrials have always existed. They've been created. They were created in the very beginning when whatever created us created us. We are all in a sense God. But at the same time, we're not. God doesn't come, the true God doesn't come down because it's not, it's not a physical being. It's a physical being. It's not even, it's a spiritual being, but it's more a, in a sense of laws and, and precepts. Are you, are you religious, Ernest? Yes, sir. I'm, I, I don't believe in being religious. I believe in uh, having, being spiritual. I'm, I follow spirituality. I don't go. I don't go to a church. I don't claim to be a member. I don't. I'm not against them. But at the same time, I can worship God right where I'm at. It doesn't have. I don't have to go to a building. It says. It, it says in in John chapter four, uh, verses nineteen through twenty four. It says, whenever the Samaritan woman came and spoke to Jesus. Or whenever Jesus went and spoke to the Samaritan woman, she said, "Sir, I believe it, I believe that you are a prophet. Uh, you that, but you Jews say that you should, we should worship in Jerusalem. We worship here, up up here on this mountain." Jesus said, "Woman, the hour is the hour is the hour has yet come, and it and yet now is when the true worshippers of God will worship Him." In spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship Him. God is a spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hmm. Ernest, what uh, what do you worry about? What are you afraid of? Nothing. I'm not afraid of anything, or otherwise that song that I wrote would be a lie. Because I am the only, because <clears throat> I am the only fucking real one. I don't need to bring the big guns. Yeah. Uh, that wouldn't be that would be too, too too much of a true song. I don't fear anything. 
I don't even fear death. I just mourn. I'm being being fearful is being is fear come fear or happiness or sadness comes in many different varieties of arrays of spectrums. I have no fear, not even fear of losing my family or not getting my family back. I just am rem am How can I say this? Um, remorseful for the very stupid word, the very actions and stupid words that I said because in it says in scripture that you shall leave your mother and father and cling to your wife. I'm 37 years old. It should be time I cling to my wife. And it's not my fault I haven't found the right one yet. I had the right one. Something come up. No need to. Exp I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to even explain it because there's no need to explain any of it. Just I lost. I lost my true love. Something come up. Something had happened, and me and her separated. She had. She buried my children. You have, you have kids. Yeah. How many kids? Eight. You have eight kids. Yeah. She uh, had a. Uh, they call. It, let's see. Quadruplet. Set tuplets, sex tuplets, sev tuplets, uh, oct, octuplets. Yeah, octuplets. She had octuplets. Eight kids at once. Not at once, but of course, you know, if you know what I mean. Of course, you know, within durations of time, yes. But she had eight kids. Her name is uh, Vivian Elizabeth or Serena. Have you been in their your kids' lives? No. I really, if I didn't know, I, I didn't know she, she had my kids. I've, whenever something this had come up, and I'm not trying to mention it because I don't, because of my family, she left me, or because of my family, I left her because my family told me she cheated on me, and she was my true love. I would have wound up in Hollywood if it, if it hadn't have been for my family. I would have wound up doing, being a very, very productive citizen of society. But. What did it you want, what, Did you have goals for your life? Did you are the things you wanted to oh, do? Oh yes, I had. I had a lot of goals. Serena's Amy Lee, Evanescence. That's my Serena. I remember the picture I seen on Facebook. That is my Serena. That is the one I fell head over heels for. I, me and her were engaged in, 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 in Hunt County, in Tawakini, in Texas. We were together. She, this was when she was, before she left Texas. And how can it be that she's much older? Well, imagine time zones being different timelines. That would be more appropriate for it to make more, for it to be more, to make more sense. How much older is she than you? I'm older. Uh, well, I was older than her, but before, but now she's, I don't know how she is. Before she was younger than me. She was about four years younger than me. I was 18. Well, I would say she, I was 18. She was about 15, but I fell in love with her. I wasn't going to ever hurt her, but until she hurt, until she hurt me by being, when I was told, quote unquote, she cheated on me with, with, with two guys. That she cheated on me. I don't believe in cheating. I, I I believe in having a firm, founded, faithful relationship, a wife and kids. And instead, you're living on the beach here in Santa Monica, homeless. Say that again. But instead, you're living homeless on the yeah in California. I can't get back to where I'm from. I've tried. I've tried. I don't have no money. I can't get enough money. And the money that I do get, I need because it takes money to survive, even be, especially being homeless. What brought you to California? To inspire my family to love me again. I was want. That's what all I was wanting is to inspire them to love me again. I miss them so much. 
I miss my, I miss my, my aunt Rose, my uncle Nathan, my aunt, my, my cousin Nelda, my cousin Michael, which this is going to be a surprise to them. Nelda, Michael, well, not Michael, but Nelda, you're my daughter, Michael's my son. You're one of, God, they're, they're two of the eight. We have another one named Sarah, where most of them were raised in my family. The only one that wasn't was Sarah. Wow. Is this the lowest point of your life right now? Huh? Is this the lowest point of your life right now? Most difficult part? Yes. Can't be easy living on the streets. It's not. Do you have good do you have good memories in your in your life? Yeah, that's what I live by. I live by my good memories and faith in God, no matter what. I know he's gonna pull me out of it eventually, but it's never when I when it's never when we want him to pull us out of our situations or to help us or to do anything for us. It's always in his time. I'm just patiently waiting in hopes without sight, only by faith, because I hear the voice of God, very faint, very gentle, very loving, like a, like a, a father full of unconditional love. But I only, I only live by faith. It's all I do is live by faith. I trust Him. I trust God. Ernest, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Most important lesson I've learned in life, don't take anything for granted. Live today like it was your last, but don't live it to the fullest. Live your life according to loving God first and foremost and loving your neighbor. So let's just love each other and live happily ever after. Because I, I, I can't stand war. I, every time I hear about war or anything going on, it sets my nerves on end. I, I love peace. I'm not, I'm not about chaos. I love peace. All right. Ernest, thank you so much for sharing your story. I wish you the best of luck out there. Thank you.